Concerned New York City teens putting down their pencils and leaving school at 11.52 a.m. today for the NYC student walkout for COVID safety. They say rising case numbers warrant a remote learning option, beefed up safety protocols, and a short-term school closure. Department of Education data shows more than 38,000 public school students and teachers have contracted COVID since winter recess began on December 24th. That's more than the entire school year before the break combined. Teachers are unhappy too. I have more than half my class out, multiple cases in our class. Last night, dozens of city educators rallied outside union headquarters in Lower Manhattan, saying the United Federation of Teachers has ignored their requests for a remote learning option. What's happening in the buildings right now is they're dropping like flies. Every day we get new cases. According to emails posted to the student walkout Instagram account, the principals of Brooklyn Prospect Charter School, Brooklyn Tech, and Nestem on the Lower East Side will not prevent today's walkout. The Department of Education and Teachers Union believe the data tells a different story. The DOE tweeted last night that attendance was up 9% yesterday compared to a week ago. And compared to Friday, the day of the snowstorm, attendance jumped by 32%. In a statement, the Teachers Union says more than 78,000 students were given PCR tests last week and more than 2 million rapid tests were distributed to students and staff in the first two weeks of this year. And the U of T statement went on to say that the tens of thousands of educators and staff are the heroes of this city. Mayor Eric Adams has already pledged to keep the schools open. Reporting live outside of Brooklyn Prospect Charter School, I'm Katie Corrado, PIX11 News.